Good day. Let's solve this problem and uh, let's follow to the end and see how it is solved. Now, this bracket we can expand this and this will become x square then minus 2 times x times 5 that's minus 10x then plus 5 square that's 25 then equals to x raised to power 3 plus 1. Now, from here, let's take everything to one side. Let's take this one to this side to form a cubic equation. Then we have x raised to power 3, then minus x square, then become, yeah, minus 10x come here, become plus 10x. Then we have plus 1 here already, then minus 25 now which is equals to zero so that when we write this again now this become x raised to power 3 minus x square then plus 10x then 1 minus 25 become minus 24 which is equals to zero and uh, from here we have a cubic equation we are expected to have a real you know solution at least then we can Inspect from here what will be the real solution from here factor of 24 and I start from 1 and 2 and so on to 24 so we put this you know integers to test whether we are going to have which one that we substitute here that we give 0 will therefore be the root of this polynomial now when we put 1 here, we discover that 1, when we substitute it here, we are not going to have 0. Then let's check 2 for x to be equal to 2. So substitute x equals to 2 from here. We have 2 raised to power 3, that will be 8, minus 2 raised to power 2, that's 4. Then plus 10 times 2, that's 20. Then minus 24. Will this one be 0? Then let's see, we have. 8 minus 4, that's 4. Then 20 minus 24, that's minus 4. 4 minus 4, that's 0. Now, we can say from here that x equals to 2 is a root of this polynomial. Then, equivalently, we can say x minus 2 will be a factor. So, we can say x minus 2 equals to 0. Now, to get the other factors, another root, we can use synthetic division here. That is, let's divide through by 2. Let's divide this polynomial 2 by 2. So using that, we have 2, we divide this. Then the coefficient, coefficient of x raised to power 3 here is 1. Then coefficient of x square, we have minus 1. Then coefficient of x, we have 10. Then the constant here is minus 24. So when we divide, we have this one can be dropped let's drop this one here then 2 times 1 that's 2 so we add this together and we have minus 1 plus 2 that will give us 1 we multiply again 2 times 1 that's 2 then we add 10 plus 2 that's 12 then we multiply again 2 times 12 that's 24 then we add again Minus 24 plus 24, that's 0. Now, we got 0 here. This confirms that 2 is a root here. Then, these three numbers here, we form the coefficient of a quadratic equation in terms of x. Then we have x squared. Then plus x. 1 is the coefficient of x squared here. And 1 is coefficient of x here. Then plus 12, which is constant, we then give us 0. Then when we solve this quadratic equation from here, we can use quadratic formula that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And from here, a is equal to 1. B is equals to 1 as well, and C is equals to 12. 
and by the time we substitute this back here we can now say that x is equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 a 1 that's then c times 12 then all over 2 times 1 then that will be x will then be equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of we have 1 square is t1 then minus 4 times 12 that will give us 48 then over 2 so 1 minus 48 will be minus 47 and the square root of minus 47 can be written as square root of 47 times square root of minus 1 and square root of minus 1 is i so we can see this square root of 47 i so now when we write this again we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 47 i then all over 2 and here we have two complex solution from here we have two complex solution and we have gotten one real solution that is x equals to 2 so now we can conclude from here that the value of x we got the first one is x equals to 2 and uh, the second one x2 is equals to minus 1 plus root 47 i over 2 and uh, the third which is also complex is equals to minus 1 minus root 47 i over 2 and this are the value of x from this solution thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now